Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Would love if you subscribed, commented, and did all that good stuff. It would certainly help us make a uh, bigger difference in the world. Would love to get to a thousand subscribers, donate to some charities this year as people get back on their feet post-COVID. Anyway, uh, we are here most days. Um, several times per week at the very least and we've got over 700 audios for you to check out a variety of topics uh, the goal is to give you kind of life lessons life nuggets and this is actually part of our life lesson series two of those today in any event um, kind of giving you a better look at things if you are trying to figure out what life is trying to teach you would love to be there to do some life and business and relationship coaching with you there's always a lesson in everything it's just we have to determine what that lesson is and how it applies to our lives in any event if you're interested in coaching please feel free to reach out there's a couple ways to do that you can do so through twitter at po perception or the about me section of this youtube page and that the both of those will get you in contact with me and um, then we can go from there in any event um, what are some things that life may be trying to teach you? One of them is have faith in something greater than yourself. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific religion, specific deity, but even if it's science or the power of change or your faith in your family or faith in your friends or faith in human nature, have a belief that there is something bigger than you that kind of has a hand in making life come together because... When you don't have faith in anything, it's very difficult to navigate unforeseen circumstances in a way that leads you in a positive direction. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are, you know, ultimately a bad person or ultimately, you know, wrong if all you believe there is is yourself. But in the, in the, in the truth of things, um, kind of looking... Um, in, a, in a different direction and finding something greater than yourself is there for the benefit of trying to uh, create um, answers and, and strength when logic kind of gives way and that can be helpful. The next is have hope. Hope that things can change. I, I say this all the time, but it bears repeating here. Change is one of the few constants in human existence. Things always change. That is a truth. And so when you are um, kind of looking for uh, life to be better, it's kind of that knowledge that change happens consistently in every moment. And therein lies the value of the present moment, which is the next thing on my list. If you have hope that in any moment, in every moment, anything can happen, positive, negative, or neutral, then every moment is a fresh start. Every moment is a chance to start over, start fresh, gain new perspective, learn something new, get to a better place in your life, relationally, professionally, personally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever have you. Every second of every moment is an opportunity where breakthrough can happen. And when that becomes the way in which you live your life, life becomes so much easier and simpler to manage for you and for anyone who believes in that way. The next is be willing to follow your gut instincts. Now, whether you believe in a higher power or not, there's some sort of thing. There are many things that science doesn't know about our instincts and our gut and our spirit and the essence of our being. There is the knowledge that, in fact, we are, um, you know, kind of, for lack of a better term, knowledge-filled beings. But the reality of it is we don't necessarily know how all that works. We don't necessarily know um, what the good is in that per se, but we know that if we believe in something greater than ourselves and we believe that things can change and we believe that um, change is possible, that life becomes easier to manage. And so when we, when we do hold that belief on a level that makes sense to us, because that's the other thing too, beliefs are useless if, the, if, if, you, don't, if you can't have sense of them. But your gut instinct will always, more often than not, tell you that you can go in positive um, d directions and that change is possible. It'll push you through the moment. And that's the other thing. 
emotional states are wonderful things because they are negative emotions are reminders that things need to change positive emotions are reminders to stay present moment minded and enjoy the moment for all that it's worth but pushing through negative emotional states is essential to living well because um this too shall pass all things pass and it doesn't mean you can't feel what you feel and it doesn't mean you shouldn't express what you feel but what it does mean for many people is you've got to find a way to express what you feel in a manner that doesn't harm you or lead you in a negative direction now that doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to be happy but what it means is you have to have a base that's at least neutral and not negative because that that neutral base will allow you to get to a more meaningful and helpful place when times get tough having a neutral base means you come back to neutrality and change things as necessary so hopefully that is helpful to you the next thing on the list is a life lesson that the you know life or the power of life can be uh, willing to teach you is the power of experimentation so try different things try things that are um, geared towards your own improvement and this may mean studying what other people have done that you haven't done yet this may mean finding a spiritual practice this may mean learning a new skill but always be looking for ways to improve yourself it's not because you yourself aren't enough more so it's that you yourself can always improve on something there are lists of things longer than i'd like that i'd like to be better at and so if i chip away at those um, on a daily basis, then I can give myself a better chance of actually achieving being better at them someday. If I never acknowledge them and say, oh, I'll deal with it later, and I'm not working on something, even if it's a small thing, on a daily basis, then time goes by, and before I know it, uh-oh, I've wasted a lot of time. I've wasted months or years of my life not improving on things that I could have and by improving them maybe I make my life simpler maybe I make more money maybe I make better connections and better friendships maybe I learn something that helps another person in a way that I never imagined possible two years ago three years ago five years ago but the bottom line is always be looking for ways to improve don't put pressure on improvement let it flow naturally but still improvement should be a central force in what you're trying to do accept your past and what that means is if there's people that aren't in your life anymore, ultimately they weren't supposed to be there long term. If there's situations that you um, regret or somebody passed away, grieve it and move forward. Accepting your past doesn't mean that you agree that your past should have happened the way it did. It just means that you accept that you can't change it because we don't have a time machine yet. And so when we accept our past, it doesn't mean we agree with everything that happened. It just means that we realize and, and cognitively understand that there's no more value in staying there as anything more than a moment for reflection every now and then. The next thing to consider is life may be trying to teach you to be more connected and to give back more. So when we give, we actually unlock a different part of our brain. We unlock the part of the brain that has to do with emotional connectedness. And one of the biggest complaints I deal with especially during COVID but even before then to a greater degree than I'd like to is people's loneliness and disconnection and so what's difficult is people feel disconnected because more so than ever before we have more technology but we also have a bigger form of disconnection in humanity and so when we help somebody and that could be giving them a dollar burger if they're homeless or it could be um, hey, I'm going the way you're going, I'll give you a ride, and I won't charge you gas money. It could be something as simple as giving someone a smile or a compliment. There's a million ways to connect, but the more connected we feel, the more positive we feel that future connections can happen, and the less isolated we feel as a result. Anyway, uh, hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.